hippies. Welcome to Hippie Chic Designs. Hi, my name is Debbie. And I'm David. This is my son of a bleach. As you can see, this is his clothesline. He does my reverse dye for me. He's also my video editor for my YouTube videos. Today we're going to be creating the pinwheel, ice dye pinwheel. I'm going to be showing David how to do the pinwheel design. Okay, so today we're going to be working with a, I believe that is a 5X shirt, so go ahead and take it out of the bowl. It's 100% cotton, so he's going to lay it flat on the table. Any certain amount you want hanging off each edge? Or? Um, you're going to just be fined in the center of the shirt. Okay, so once you find the center of the shirt, so I would put the, the front side facing you. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm still a rookie. <laughs> okay. All right, is that all right? That looks good. Sometimes I'll do the twirl at the top of the shirt or um, over on the side. So you can put the, the swirl, the pinwheel, anywhere you'd like. Especially on a 5X. Yes. <sighs> okay. So go ahead and stab the shirt and just start spinning. Okay, and just make sure that all your pleats. Okay, your, what's a what's a pleat? That's your fold right here. You're gonna oh. make sure everything's even. Okay. But don't go too fast. Look at this one's getting up on you. Oh, okay. Okay. Keep on going. Keep yep, keep on spinning. Perfect. Yep, and this side's starting to cover up this little guy over here. Okay. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. So just keep on spinning it. Okay. So you're going to leave your fork in it okay. and hold your fork right there, and we're just going to squish everything the best we can. We're going to get our rubber bands. So you're going to take a couple rubber bands and you're just going to make it look like a pizza pie. Oh. Just try to get all your slices even. You want to do the first one just to oh, yes. show you? So I'm going to just pull it underneath. Okay. And sometimes it is good, easier to get somebody to hold this fork while you do your first one. Okay, so the first one will go there and then you can take the fork out. I'll take the fork. Thank you. Should I try this one on my end? Yep. Ooh. You made it look, <laughs> look smooth. <laughs> oh. All right, then. I better do it one around. Oops. I'm going to get yelled at either way here. No, no. <laughs> Just don't give anybody a bigger piece than somebody oh, else. <laughs> I make all your slices even. <laughs> Yep, like that. Right. Do I leave any sleeve, any part hanging out? Or no, do, keep it part? all, keep it all within the um, the shirt. that piece is. Somebody's oh, going to get right. a me. bigger piece. He called me. I was trying to cheat. Looks good. Looks All good. Right. <laughs> okay. So you can see our fold. Um, what you're going to do is you're just going to push up and make sure that nobody, like this little part of it, you can tuck under here. You're going to make sure that nothing's hiding. Everything is out. So none of your material is over top your other material. Oh, good. Okay. Perfect. And now we're going to get ready for the next process. Okay, 
so now we are going to start our dyeing process. Um, we're going to put our safety gear on. Oh, put your mask on. All right, and you have your safety glasses on top of your head, so yes, put your safety glasses on. Check. Okay, now if you don't want to stay in your hands, um, you can wear your um, protective gloves. I'm not going to be really working with the dye. He is, but he doesn't care to wear his gloves right now. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put a little spin on our ice dye. Instead of putting our dye, our shirts over a rack and letting the dye drip down off of it to the bottom of the pan, we're actually going to put the shirt in the bottom of the pan and we're going to let the drippings, the bottom of the shirt, soak up the drippings. But first, we're going to put a solid color on the bottom of the pan to put our shirt down in. So one side of our pan uh, shirt is going to be, um, I think David chose orange. So what you'll do, David, is you're going to take your little baby spoon and you're just going to put a thin sprinkle on the bottom of the pan. Just tell me when to spell. Is that the That's hell? plenty enough. Just keep on making it even. Because this is very concentrated, so you don't have to use I think that's good. That's good. Okay. Because what's going to happen is the drippings from the shirt is going to lay in the bottom. Okay, that is concentrated. So tap your spoon off, get all your dye off, and then put your lid on. Always keep your lids closed up. And then I'll take, yeah, put that over there so we know we've used that. Go ahead and take your hippie cheek tile, wipe your spoon off before you dip it in another. Okay, so go ahead and put your shirt in on top of the die. Do you set it? Perfect. Yeah, you can push down on it and you can kind of wiggle it a little just so the die, I'll hold this with it. Yep, so the shirt gets all the die on. Okay, great. So now he's chosen his colors. I'm going to let him put the colors on his little triangles, pieces of his pie. And how much coverage do we want uh, per slice of pie here? You want, what I do is I just sprinkle a layer okay. um, so that you can't see the white. Okay. Do you like to go even right across colors or do you mix it um, up? Sometimes or? I'll go straight across depending on what type of okay. pinwheel swirl I want. And I will tell you one little trick. Um, to get the little swirl in there, to get that, what I do is I take the bottom rubber band, I lift it up, and I'll sneak a little powder down in that twirl. Baby spoon is perfect for that. Yes. A little more, or? Uh, I think that's, uh, put a little more there, because you want your line of blue. Oh, okay. Or whatever okay. color that is. Yes. Okay, so put some more there. Then do the same for the other. Three. Yeah, and then you can do it for the other side. I put a little more. Doesn't matter if it goes Oops. too heavy, that's fine. Okay. And then put more here. So the more dye that you use, the less white you'll see. Do you spread it around or do you just let it naturally? You just let it naturally. That's why we have our mask on. Our mask is going to keep our, our breath from blowing the dust everywhere. You just say uh, when is good. Um, put, yep, put a little bit more on. Okay. And now is that the only two spots you're going to put your color right there? Um, your gray? Um, I might switch it up and just go one on the opposite just to be weird. Okay, go right ahead. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty good coverage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Verified. Yep, sure. go ahead, because okay. I know it's low. Okay. So go ahead and dump it wherever you want it. Do you have your mask on? So. Oh, it's it slipped down. Good call. Thank you. All right. And that one's empty. I'll go ahead and take that from you. I'll mm -hmm. wash it out and recycle it. All right. 
So what color are you using next? Let's see. We have a navy blue or black. Which one would be? Well, that's all we're, we're putting everything else on top, correct? Right, okay. right. The only thing that's going on bottom is the orange. Okay. So with a navy blue. Pizza got extra toppings there. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> you said pizza, and here comes Buck. Oh, he's on it. <laughs> Buck, we don't this have no pizza, pizza for you. <laughs> this pizza is to die for. <laughs> oh, exactly. All right. Next we have black. So when you're making shirts for your customers, just remember that most of the guys like the darker colors. Okay, while he's finishing up, I'm going to go get the ice. Leaving me by myself. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. And you will be seeing David in future videos. He will be having his videos on how to make his his Son of a Bleach shirts. Um, so you'll be seeing that in um, videos in the future. Okay. So now what you'll do is you'll just take the ice, um, just put the flat side down all around it. That's just so it okay. sticks better. And I only do one layer of ice. Um, I don't like my dye running off my shirts too much and the more ice you put on your shirts the more diluted it'll be and washing your dye out is that too much nope that's perfect okay. it's going to be wall to wall just okay. have your ice touching each other all the way around do check on it later and you see that um, some of the powder is still thicker in places that the ice didn't really melt it you can come back and put an ice cube here and there um, you know it's, it's your preference whatever you choose perfect so we have our ice on our shirt as you can see and what we'll do is we will leave it set overnight and then tomorrow um, we'll show you how we're going to rinse it and we'll get to see our um, surprise for our create creation of our ice dye pinwheel okay so now we're ready to rinse out our pinwheel tie-dye shirt okay so go ahead and get the hose we're going to rinse it out with the garden hose Go ahead and just start rinsing. You 
go easy or do you um, put a little pressure on it? I would put a little pressure on it. Okay, so now it's rinsed. Um, go ahead and take the rubber bands off. And once you get the rubber bands off, we're going to rinse it again. Okay, so he's taking the last rubber band off now. Okay, so he's going to spread it out and he's going to rinse it again. All right. Oh, that looks cool. oh my gosh, that looks awesome. Okay, go ahead and finish rinsing it. Remember, we had the orange on the bottom, so we just have a little orange popping through to add a little bit of contrast in color. Okay, that should be good. All right, let's see what we have here. Our ice dye pinwheel. Nice. Look at those colors. Oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? Alright, let me get another shot of that. Alright, perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do now, um, you can see a little bit of the orange that we put on the bottom. Um, we just wanted a little touch in there. Okay, so next thing, what we're going to do is um, David actually bought me a spin spinner for out here for my shirts. Um, he's going to put it in the spinner. What we're going to do after that is we're going to take it inside and put it in the dryer. Awesome. So that is our ice dye pinwheel. Peace out, hippies.